Hello, Sparkle Squad. This is your Captain Sparkle speaking. <laughs> Hi, guys. So, um, today I got a video that I wanted to show you um, some of the things that I've got this uh, past couple of weeks. And I want to start out with this amazing find that I found at a garage sale on Friday. So, look at the glitter. And then it says, never miss a chance to sparkle. If you can see that it's a big sign but I thought this was amazing this was an awesome sign and I'm like this was meant for me to find so I paid like two dollars for it at a garage sale it's awesome it's wood and like a stretched canvas and it's glittered to perfection and then it said never miss a chance to sparkle and I was like how perfect is that so that is definitely going to be hung here in my room where all of the magic happens. All right. Now, uh, I do have doggies. You might hear them bark. They're all in the house right now. They just had some snacks, so they're chilling, enjoying their snacks. Um, also, you probably hear the wind cranking. It is psycho outside right now, and I have my windows open because it's 70 degrees. It is amazing outside. So anyway, I uh, showed these in a previous video, but I thought I would show them again. These are some fine liners, and they're just a generic. There is no brand on them or anything. Uh, you get 100 colors, and they are all different, although some of them look the same, but they are slightly different. And they're 0.4 millimeter, so I'll take a few of these out. Look at those beautiful fine liners. I've scribbled with them. I haven't colored with them yet. I just scribbled around and tested them all. None of them were dried out. So let's grab this pink. And this is what the, the outside look like. It's a black barrel. It's got the color here on the cap and here on the end. And then the cap goes on the end, which is very nice. And there is your tiny little nib. So very small, perfect for the detail work. I really like these. The cap has got a little lip on them, so they won't roll around when you set them down. It kind of stops it from rolling. So these are nice. I like them a lot. I got them on Amazon, so I'll have a link for all of these things uh, in the description. So be sure to check out that description, valuable, valuable information there. I have the sniffles. I'm sorry about allergies or psycho. That's the wind. It's the crazy wind. So... There are those. These are really nice. I really like these. So, okay, move them aside. I also purchased these watercolors. These watercolors are by Art and Fly. There's 40 watercolors and you get two water brushes included. I love the packaging. This is the little sleeve they come in. And then here's your little palette right here. Sorry for the glare. And like I said, I'm just going to hold it up. You get 40 watercolors. It says one water brush, but there's actually two. This is very, very pretty. So let me open this up. I did do a swatch of these. It comes with this card blank with your colors. So I just swatched these all out. And I really, really like them. They're vibrant. They're pretty. There's a good array. These are going to be awesome to do backgrounds with. That's what I had in mind when I bought these. So you remove this little tray, like your little mixing palette, and you can set it there. And here are those beautiful colors. Some of them's cracked a little bit, but that doesn't bother me. Here's your water brushes you get. You get a, a fat boy, like that. And then you get a medium tipped boy, like that. This is the one I used. You can tell I already stained, stained up the brush. So all I've done is a swatch chart so far, but uh, these water brushes I actually like. Now I have switched to paint brushes, but these water brushes are pretty good. These sponges over here on the side are what you dip your water brush off onto to get the color off when you're wanting to change. And then I just rinse them under water and squeeze them out when I was done. So. so those are nice. You get two on each side and then these beautiful little, I think these are half pans. I'm pretty sure they're half pans. I don't know if you can get refills for these specifically or if you have to buy the whole set again if you're out, but the little pans do pop out. I say that and now I can't get one out. See, here we go. There, there you go. See, so the little pans pop out of their little holder. 
like that. So you can replace them with other watercolors, I'm sure. But I really like these for what I'm gonna use them for. And I'll go through the colors real quick. We have white, cantaloupe, banana yellow, lemon yellow, Sierra orange, sunset orange, which is a beautiful color, really like that. Coral, honeysuckle, spicy tangerine, lipstick. I love the color the lipstick is. This one right here, not pretty. Pink grapefruit, raspberry wine. I guess I can kind of do this. Mauve, bubblegum pink, lavender, Lilac, Grape, Deep Violet, Periwinkle, and True Blue. So those are the first two top rows you can see right there. I guess I can just show you there on this too. So we have Carolina Blue, Azure Blue, Turquoise, Night Blue, Asian Blue, Chartreuse, Granny Apple, Emerald, Kermit Green, khaki green, jungle, kelly green, chalkboard green, harvest, rust, pancake, milk chocolate, putty, elephant gray, and dark gray. So those are all the colors. I really like these. So of course you could mix and change the colors as watercolors. You know, you can do that to get the perfect color that you want. But I uh, like these just from the swatches, and they're really not that chalky. You know how sometimes you get cheap watercolors and they're chalky? These really aren't all that chalky on this card that it comes with. So I'm just going to keep that in here. And then the little tray's got these little legs that just poke down in here. Like that. And then it just closes up like that. So these, I think, are nice watercolors really have enjoyed those so far just the swatch so i can't wait to do backgrounds and other things with them so that's by the company art and fly and again i found these on amazon i can't remember how much i think they were 30 25 30 somewhere around there uh the these i think were 20 or 20 dollars. all right next look at this shiny boy He's awesome. This is a pencil case, and I got them actually for my um, for my fine liners or potential future pencils that I might buy. But look how beautiful this is! If this this is definitely a me pencil case, it is amazing. I love it. So I'll show you the inside. It zips around. I think this holds 160 pencils. And it comes with a strap, so you can hook it here and here at each end, and you can carry it around with you over your shoulder, which is awesome. And then this is the inside with our little elastic doohickeys here. And then it's like a book flip through, and you can put extra pencils, a sharpener, paintbrush, what have you, in there. So, yeah, this is awesome, and I love it. I just searched for uh, pencil cases on Amazon, and this one was one that popped up, and it's amazing. So, that is pretty. See, it's on both sides. It's shiny. Love it. I love this. Uh, is this hologram? Is this hologram? Holographic stuff? I don't know. Iridescent? No, that's hologram. Love it. Look at the rainbows it makes. It's awesome. So got that, so I'll separate my uh, fine liners in there. All right, so that's all of the art stuff that I got. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna sit down. I've been standing this whole time. And I'm going to show you the coloring books that I got. Now this next coloring book, or the first one that I'm gonna show you is actually one that was sent to me for review. So this is called The Money Book an adult magic book with money and richness symbols to color. This is the coloring version. They also offer it in um, color by number. It is by the Belba family. They contacted me on Instagram. Um, they have a lot of books. All of them are mostly color by, I think they're all color by number and I'm not really into color by number. So, um, and while their books are nice, 
I liked this one best because they told me I could pick a few, but I said really this is the one I liked best just based off of some pictures that I saw. So, uh, yeah, this is the one I went with, and it's all about, like, um, money and things. So I'm going to show you a few because I'm going to do a proper flip through of this. This is on Amazon paper. There's, I want to say 30 or so images in here. I don't know if it's said anywhere. There's what the back looks like. So you can see some of the pictures. Let's see. Let's see if it says how many images there are. I don't think it does, but it might. 25, it does. There's 25 pictures and they're all single-sided and it's on Amazon paper, which is good for marker. So I'm gonna be coloring these with marker, but I love this great picture. But it's just got like different symbols of wealth and um, prosperity. So like money symbols and things like that one. So there, it's actually really nice. I um, think I'll enjoy coloring out of this. So there's just a quick little flip, but if you want, I'm gonna do a proper flip and review on this one. But this one is The Money Book by The Belva Family, and I will link up this book down in the description as well as anything else that I'm showing today. So thank you, Belva Family, for sending this to me. I'll have to do a page out of here on camera. Let me set that. Hopefully things don't go toppling. I'm gonna get a sip of my drink here. I have to show you my Starbucks cup that I got. Do you see the shininess and amazingness that it is? It's so pretty. It looks like mermaid scales and it is also holographic, iridescent, whatever you want to call it. It's amazing. I have um, Dr. Pepper and cream soda in here. If you haven't tried that, it is amazing. I, yes, try the Dr. Pepper cream soda, so good. Ah, oh, my throat's been hurting. Okay, all these next books I purchased myself. So I got Floating Mandalas, or Floating 3D Mandalas uh, by Tabitha L. Barnett. I've been eyeing these books for a while, so I went with the first one. The, there's two of them. I'm gonna have to buy the second one too. And these are lovely. I love my mandalas. These are cool when they're done because they do look like they're kind of popped out in 3D. They got a little bit of shading in them. And what else I liked about it is that there are, bark alert, there are some pictures that have black backgrounds, which I love. So this is very pretty. Mocha's in there boo booing. Really like this book. I love this picture. It's probably the first one I'll do. Um, so yeah, so I had to have that one. So I'll be getting the second one soon, I'm sure. But again, that's Floating 3D Mandalas by Tabitha L. Barnett. I really enjoy her books. I've only got one, but I've liked all the others I've seen. Stay. Okay, so the weekend we went to Half Price Books, and if you have a Half Price Books, definitely check out their coloring book section because they do get some in. Some are used, uh, but are just fine. Some might have a page missing. This one that I'm about to show you had one page tore out of it, so I'm not worried. I only paid $2.99 for it. This is Nature Scapes. It's a creative haven book, and the illustrator is Pat Patricia J. Wynn. So I was like $2.99, can't go wrong. So it's all like animals and, and then in the uh, spine here, it tells you what fish you're coloring. So, or like what picture you're coloring. This is butterfly fish in elk horn coral. So you can look that up if you wanna see what colors it is. Of course, as with all Creative Haven books, it is single sided and it's on a little bit thicker paper. So, yeah, I love, I got flipped some through this up there. I was like, ooh, I like that. I don't have that book. So really enjoyed that. If you want a full flip through of this, please let me know down in the comments and I will have one for you. So this is Naturescapes, Creative Haven book, $2.99. Couldn't beat it. Check out your half price books. And as soon as this video is over, I'm peeling all of these off because I can't stand stickers on my books. I just can't, I can't, I don't like it. 
All right. And I found this one. This is the Unicorn Coloring Book Enchanting Images and Fanciful Designs. This is by Jessica Mazur Cow. Cow I can't say her last name. Mazur Kaiwicks. Mazur Kaiwicks, I think. She has a couple of books uh, that she does with Creative Haven. So, but this one is just a book on her own. And this one was only $4.99 at Half Price Books. And this was completely pristine. So there's the back of it. Jessica Mazur Kaiwicks. Mazur Kaiwicks. Mazur Kaiwicks. This is by uh, Racehorse Publishing. So. Um, of unicorns. I had to have it. So I'll just do a few pages here to kind of show you what we're working with. So adored this when I saw it, grabbed it, said knew I had to have it. So there's that one. And again, if you want a full flip through, let me know in the comments of any of these books that I'm showing and I will do a full flip through for you. So there's that one, the unicorn coloring book. And then I found this one that I had been on my wish list for a while. This is the Sweet Shop Coloring Book by Chris Price. It was $7.99. I think it's like $10 on Amazon. I'm not sure. But, excuse me while I suck down some of that Dr. Pepper. I just really enjoy, um, these illustrations and they are all in landscape format now i don't know if i'll color in this or not but they are it the pages are single-sided i just really enjoy this artwork i might color in some of them and it's going to be marker if i color in this because i think it'll make really pretty pictures because i just really like the art style so there's a few pages there. This is all like candies and cupcakes and sweets and fruits and pep page full of peppermints. So that is the sweet shop. So uh, yeah, this one had been on my wish list for a while. His other one, what is it? The um, curiosity shop. Is that what it is? I think so. That's the other one that I want to get uh, from Chris Price. So, so yeah, so that's all of the things that I've kind of accumulated coloring wise over the past couple of weeks. Um, I can't wait to color in all of these. I'm just going to kind of lay them all out there for you. And then I can't wait to get my pins organized in this beautiful puppy. So pretty. And I have room for other pins because I have a hundred fine liners and this holds 160 pencils so I'll probably put my pins in here and then I'm really wanting to get the oh what are them pencils um spear rear farbins <laughs> spear farbins shiver farbins those ones y'all know which ones to talk about right <laughs> um, so I'm wanting to get the large set of those hopefully soon I don't know when I'll get them but I want to get them and I might put them in here I don't know I'm going to put my fine liners in here first. So, so yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and seeing the things that I have got myself. Um, like I said, check out the description. I'll have a link for each of these items down there in case you wish, wish, man, my words, in case you wish to purchase them, they'll be down there. I'm an Amazon affiliate, so they are affiliate links. If you purchase through my links, it's no extra cost to you. I just get a small kickback and every so often get a tiny Amazon gift card to buy more things for this channel. So yeah, um, let me think what else. I think that's it for these things. Have you guys got anything new recently? If so, let me know. Uh, if you haven't joined my coloring group, please, um, please consider. It is on Facebook. It's Jessica's Coloring Corner. Really nice group of people over there. Everyone's so sweet. And um, I tried to be more active in it. I haven't lately. I haven't really done a lot of coloring. I've been doing a lot of diamond painting. 
but um, yeah, I think that's going to be my next video so I can finish off this one diamond painting. I do have a couple that I want to show you that I purchased as well. That's a separate video. But anyway, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a lovely Monday. And I will see you in the next video really soon. And remember, don't ever let anybody dull your sparkle. Goodbye, Sparkle Squad.